remember the Hoover Junior 1334 that I'm doing for a very valued and lovely subscriber of mine. Well, we're at this stage now. I thought I would start the video here rather than all done. Because, yeah, we can go through a few things that I found out and look at how many new parts we are going to throw at this project because we're quite well stopped from the old Barsons trips that we did. So we're going to live a little and, yeah, improve this commercially used machine no end. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner and vintage Hoover chums. How are you today? Yes, it is coming up very well indeed. I mean, we have the brush roll here naked, ready to be masked up and sprayed. We have you know, the firewall out and apart and ready to go back together with the new silicone that it needs. We have the wheels, very original again, as commented on in something I read on one of my social posts. Yes, early machines had these black wheels and they switched to the white wheels and it's all come up very well indeed there's there's those screws look for one of the wire terminals after a trip over the wire wheel i only broke the coil once and need to get the soldering iron out to just pop that back in there by me i literally could look i could just put that back into the hole look fixed part of me would just leave that but I will put a drop of solder on it and yeah we're all looking quite good it's all coming up quite well considering that this machine was apparently used commercially here is the inside of the hood now it's only anecdotal evidence that it was used commercially but this thing was disgustingly filthy I mean there's still bits of it here and there where I just haven't been able to chip it away all of this in here is where the dirt was just thick all over the shop. It's, you know, it's still in places now. Guy who owns this has had it since he was six. Now, I don't know if he's seven and a half or, you know, 37 now. But let's just say he has owned this machine for a long time. He got this with a 417G, apparently. He doesn't have the 417G anymore. Still has this. And when he got it, he said the brush strips were just ruined. And it had a commercial cable on it. So, you know, it would make very much sense that it had been used commercially. It would explain why the wheels blessed them. Oh, worn down so much. That is, that is not a set of lightly used Hoover Junior wheels. It's probably why the fan is quite sharp. It's not destroyed. Somebody said I should file it down. I'm going to leave it. It's okay. But yeah, it has seen some use. So yeah, yeah. What is the biggest giveaway is the arbiter. Look at the commutator. It is worn. I mean, it's not going to be a problem really on this machine because. It's not going to have that much use and it's still going to go on for years and years and years like that. But, yeah, that is the use that this thing has had. Amazingly, the bearings seem okay. This is the back bearing. There's nothing really wrong with that at all. This is the front bearing. Again, very tarnished. It's not a genuine Hoover bearing. But nothing actually wrong with it. It's not, it's not moving about. It is okay. Brush roll bearings were destroyed. They're not even here anymore. Oh yeah, the screws, look. Just 15 minutes over the bench grinder with the wire wheel and it comes up nice. It's going to come up a lot more nicer as well with perhaps a few special things thrown at it. Because I went shopping in the shed of broken dreams and the boxes in my bedroom. And actually, the first thing I did was pull this out, which is the wrong handle bail this is for the flat handled juniors do have some more i need to go find it i need to find something because where is it that there is just worn down completely this isn't a genuine handle bail either it, it, it feels pattern it hasn't got h1 stamped in the side 
So it will have another bail if we can have a look at that afterwards. I found this look. Probably from those Skip Fine Juniors that we had, but a much, much nicer set of rear, no, front wheels these are. So we're going to have those and take away these into the rubbish pile. I do have some new old stock non-genuine bearings. Here is a front one and it perhaps does feel a smidge tighter than the other one so I'm not going to throw this one away I will keep it but in the interest of because we can we will get rid of it I have got a very rare coveted pair crikey worth a lot of money these are brush roll bearings very good a brand new because we had several of these from Barton's lower handle bushing again nothing really wrong with this they do polish up okay but I've got some new ones. I'm going to fit a new one. Ah, yes, we have ourselves a non-genuine, brand new top cord hook. And the reason that I want this is because, yeah, there is a piece missing from it. Look, it should, it should progress further than it does. So that would be nice to get that shape, won't it? We can put one of those on. Oh. There's more, folks. There's more. I've <laughs> got a lot of junior stuff. We have... Ah, yes, there's two things in here. I have several brand new motor seals. And my goodness, we need those because I had to chisel away the old one. You saw how much of a struggle it was getting it out of the machine. Then I found this from this bag here, handily marked. Because, again, you know... I keep that belt spindle because I've known people post up saying that there's a snap completely. But look how much look how much different that is compared to a heavily used one. Again, that's just the belt eating away at it. So we'll have that as well. We were missing this completely. So there is the grommet for the rear cable. Here is a set of rear wheels that I found. I'm going to rebuild it onto the axle that I polished up, but they're on this one. But yeah, again, just look at the difference, even from this side. They're just, they're, they've had their time. They've had their time. Then I found these, very extravagant now. Look, two brand new, never used end caps. And again, nothing really wrong with these ones, except perhaps this one, which is quite dented. Um, probably would have been causing issues. However, this side I will keep because again, it's got a big dent in it. Well, it has that. I maybe won't keep it. Problem is this inner bit breaks and spins around, but I have many of them. I don't have to worry about that for now. And then, because we have a brand new front bearing, we may as well have a brand new rear bearing, even though again, there's nothing really wrong with this. It's gonna go back in the box. In fact, all of the stuff that is good enough to keep, can go in there, you can go in there because I need to get another one. And I'm actually going to throw some stuff away. I'm presuming this all goes well. All of these back wheels and worn stuff, because again, I've got other sets of back wheels. We're going to stop hoarding the stuff. Oh, does throwing various new old stock parts at the machine that sounded like it once did make any difference? Well, we're going to find out after I have re put it back together which will be now. And a couple of days later, we find ourselves here with a very smart, very clean looking Hoover Junior 1334. Yeah, she's had a fair few parts thrown at her and all the better for it. Yeah, first off, this thing was filthy. Now that it's pretty much confirmed that it was used for commercial in some state or form, certainly this bit, yeah, whole thing was pretty grubby. So we have ourselves a nice new pattern bag holder on there, nothing functionally wrong with the old one, but it was certainly broken. So that is on there. I haven't changed the plug, I was hoping to go stick a nice MK safety plug on, but they're either, I don't have any left, or they're buried so far down the back of the shed, but yeah, this at a glance, 
seems pretty good. I'll deal with that. We'll now take the very long cable off. And again, I never truly mind seeing a long cable on it. You know, the original one obviously had to come off for a reason. This is a good length. It's also white. It's, it, it's probably more usable. If you have to stick a cable on, get a nice white two core and wind as much onto the handles as you physically can. Then you'll be good. There I can show you the, again, it's an Osprey, it's not a genuine Hoover, but this was the missing grommet that takes the cable through the mid-frame on there. Then, well, the next big thing is the fact that this is a completely different handle grip, which is why it looks a little bit bad. Here is the one that came out of the machine, and again, it's not a genuine or original part at all, and... This is where the ratchet goes for the cleaner. As you can see, these two, that's the intermediate setting, and it never really hits that because it bottoms out here first. This first one is the top, and you'll see on this side, which has this extra plate, that it's nice and sharp. However, on this side, look, it's completely worn away. You would have to build that back up with some weld and then file it back down. There is no sense in that at all. It is complete scrap. And then because this was a fully refurbished unit that I'd done and put back together, I just put all the innards from that into the box of spares and just put the entire unit in, which is probably how they would have done it back in the day. They would just, it's how I do Dyson clutches. You had them refurbished and sat around, and when you need it, it just goes in. Right, so that's up here. The bag got a, a nice hand wash with all the bellows attached and that was fine. That wasn't too dirty anyway. Let's have a look underneath, which was quite filthy really. Um, we now have a nice painted brush roll, painted black with just a spray of clear coat to stop the paint from chipping straight off. The bristles that came with the machine, again, we know that they've been replaced, the same belt that came with the machine. But both of the end caps are brand new because I, I happen to have a couple of sets of those, as are the bearings inside the brush roll. They were probably about the only thing that really needed to be replaced was those two bearings. Everything else could have just cleaned up. In fact, I'm also forgetting that I did also put a brand new one of these on. I got a lot of these from Barton's. This is the rubber boot that obviously packs this out and then it all clamps together. And again, they wash and sift up perfectly fine, but I've got a bajillion newer ones. I thought, why not? The wheels look a lot better now that they don't look completely worn out. Just, you know, the usual level of wear that you would expect from what's probably knocking on an 80-year-old, 60, 70, 80-year-old vacuum cleaner. This isn't dirt. This is where the plastic has scraped its way down into, you know, there. That, that, that's just wear, sadly. Can't do much about that. So with all of that done, I also threw two new bearings into it. Because, again, why the heck not, even though the old ones would have been okay. This poor tatty machine is nearly done and ready to be finished. But there is just one more thing. See, the owner did mention this broken, cracked front plate. And, yeah, you, you can still get hold of them. There's, there's, there's no real saving this one. So I said I'd have a look in the stash. And I found something completely inappropriate that I'm sure will be fantastic. Here is a brand new, you know, storage marked, but brand new front cover for a Hoover Junior 1334. Non-genuine, of course. We come into my little box of spares, open the lid and extract one of these, which are my adhesive Hoover roundels. Genuine, this is where all of the stuff from that ended up. If I turn it this way, in order to center it. We'll peel off the backing, which I have to be a bit careful to not rip off the adhesive and to only rip off the little bit of paper, which is coming. Oh, come on. There we go. The Hoover logo goes on at a slight angle with the Hoover on an angle. 
and the Hoover logo. I think that will do. And we can put this brand new front cover onto our Hoover Junior. And I'll send this back because, again, for display, especially if you photograph it from the non-broken side, it does look fine. And who knows? There's always these kicking around on eBay. You'll probably get a grey one, Mr. Owner. I've had bags before, you know. It wouldn't be too difficult to put this back to genuine spec. But why would you want to? It's got a story now. This has been languishing at Barton's for probably 30-odd years on its own. Maybe 40. It's finally got a home. Let's plug it in and see if it sounds any better than it did before. <laughs> stock parts on it would make a difference I mean the motor oh yeah brand new motor spindle I forgot this was timed perfectly I bought a small job lot of junior spares from somebody on the Manchester Vax forum and yeah that's why I suddenly had a lot of stuff available to me that I would have just added to the other stuff that I already have yeah brand new bearings and pulley Beautiful, that will do. That is what you want from your Hoover Junior. And then with a nicely non-worn belt spindle. She rips once more. And I think we can safely call this one done. I mean, the paintwork's polished up well enough. It, it's a bit battle-scarred. Although, again, the paint's not flaking. If you did a good coloured match-up, you'd probably get away with that. But, yeah, for now, its journey with me is done. It is mechanically restored for a laugh, has lots of new parts, and, yeah, I mean, the guy had it since he was eight. That is a pretty good accomplishment. I don't have any vacuums from that old. I mean, when I was eight, I wasn't allowed any vacuums. So, the oldest I've got is a Turbo Power 1 that I would have had for at least 15 years not since i was eight so hopefully we can carry on making many more memories with this vacuum cleaner oh i can get the cable out hopefully the guy finds himself a nice nicer plug for it i mean if i dig them out i'll send one on but it's been smashing it down with rain this entire last fortnight that i've been doing this and i've got to take a lot of stuff out the shed to even think about finding where they might be so yeah for now this will do. So tell me what you think. Have you ever thrown brand new parts at an old vintage Hoover? If so, how did it go? I mean, you probably could have done this fine with just the brush roll bearings, and you know they're they're always needing to be replaced nowadays. So that's almost not too worrying. The bear, the motor bearings weren't worn. They would have cleaned up. I've kept them. They're chucked in the pile. We may end up using them unwittingly one day in the future, but not on this machine. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed, and I and this vacuum cleaner will see you soon. Bye-bye.